The mission, Helping Pets in Need. Recently, the plight of some border collies discarded from a Midwest puppy mill was brought to my attention. Meet owner Kenny Schock of Clancy's Dream. The global mission of Clancy's Dream is to bring help and hope to border collies in times of need by providing a safe haven for high-risk and unwanted dogs with rescue, medical, rehabilitation, and adoption assistance. Here's more. I saw Clancy's Dream and Kenny on Facebook. 11 puppies from a puppy mill. These are, <laughs> these are border collies. They're so active, they need a job. And if you look also, often, <laughs> often. <laughs> he's got they, a job right now. He's got a I job now. <laughs> often they are listed as the smartest dogs that want to help humans, you know. They need a job, they need to work. And to keep these animals in a cage and breed them. I mean, I'm pretty liberal about everything, but this just this is hard. drives me insane. So we want to help Kenny. We want to get the dogs adopted in foster homes, and he can tell you more. And let's take a shot of whiskey, giving you a bath again. Let me see that again. Come a on, shot of whiskey. Come on. It'll be up for it. We'll take that. Oh, look at that. Wow, nice. <laughs> start at the top here, Kenny. Start with uh, Clancy. This Clancy. Uh, Clancy was our dog. He was a uh, years ago, years ago. We bred border collies, and we raised them and gave them great homes and really worked with them, uh, re rehabilitated a lot of Border Collies. Mm -hmm. And when he passed away very suddenly, uh, in his honor and memory, we started an official foundation. And with that, we rescue Border Collies now all over the eastern United States. Wow, and I imagine that there are uh, it's what's considered a popular dog at puppy mills because they're a popular dog with homes and families, and they end up buying them not maybe knowing that they're from well, a puppy mill. Yeah, Correct. Most of the dogs that we get in the rescue are under two years old, and it's because the owners can't handle them any longer. <laughs> they're energetic. They're, it's a two-edged sword. Not only are they extremely intelligent, they're extremely active. And if you don't do both of that, you're going to have problems. Yeah. You, you just are. They're not for the faint at heart. No. But no. then tell me about what happened with these uh, uh, 11 dogs in particular. We were contacted by a, a group down in another state, and they took in about 38, 39 dogs, and they needed homes. They were they were f nearly feral, and so they reached out to us, and we took on 11, and we have them homed in one of our facilities. And with that, we're rehabilitating them. Wow. Every single dog was heartworm positive, oh, um, no. which is an ex through. which is an extremely expensive treatment. Uh, every dog uh, had issues. Uh, every dog had mats dirty, nasty, mm. things like that. They, they had zero so socialization. Okay. So it, it takes a long time to be able to get them back in order. I just think mentally, too, can you imagine these dogs are trapped in a cage? It's just awful. A responsible breeder does not sell to a pet shop. Right. Keep that in mind. Responsible breeder, you meet the mom dog, you see where the dog was born, and you, and you, you get all the health records, too. So if you want a particular breed, number one, know what you're getting, know your breed. Right. This is not for everybody. Uh, <laughs> Unless you have treats. She goes, I know exactly who I want to be with right now. But they're very, very active and very, very smart. Help if you can. And learn more. Go to Clancy's Dream on Facebook or Clancy'sDream.org. Stay tuned for more of Pet Pals TV.